Okay, so the other day, I actually decided to use Google Ads for the first time, primarily via the promotion tab. The, the promotion tab for some creators, Google is still testing it. It's in beta. Some creators have it. Some creators don't have it and two of my channels have it and one of them is a gaming channel so i decided hey why not test it on that channel and i did i ran into a few problems okay i will go over the problems I ran into with you guys right now and then later on towards the middle slash end of the video I'll show you guys my you know results what happened what changed if anything was it worth it was it not there will be time codes if you want to skip to a certain part but let me start with my problems, my woes, if you will. Okay. So, first of all, since I was using YouTube Promotions tab, a few of my options were limited, um, such as the ability to select in ads or whatever. It was basic on the YouTube, which is fine because it was a YouTube video. I selected that, managed to make it through all that, and then I had to, you know, of course, add funds to my account so it could take it out. And that, that was the easy part. Now, the more complicated part is because it's a gaming channel, okay? So, since it was a gaming channel, the video in question I chose had the name of the game in the title, which normally the um, thing in the title doesn't matter too much because of the fact that it's neither here nor there. But, the particular game, the name is trademarked because it's uh, IP or intellectual property in case you don't know what IP stands for. And that applied to a lot of games out there. So, and it kept, um, I kept changing it a little bit. I couldn't figure out what it was, what it was. It kept saying, oh, it's approved and active, but only in some cases. So that wasn't good. Finally, I realized what it was and just had to remove the name of the game from that video for the duration of the time. I'm not sure how that affected it long term. SEO wise, but for you guys, I did that. Now, the run I did was technically for three days, but it took like one and a half to two days for it to even get approved. So it did like a day and a half of running and let go through everything, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to go on this page to show you guys real quick that it has ended officially. It is, it totaled it to how much it cost. I actually ended up setting it after the fact to 25 dollar to spend it went a little bit over but that's okay i think that has to do with the fact that 
it makes you pick 50 as an option from the get-go. So I don't know if 25 gets updated because it's beta. This is how many impressions it says I got, how many promotion views, and how many promotion subscribers. So this is how many subscribers it believes that I got from the promotion, how many views, and how many impressions. Impressions are literally just how many people got to, uh, you know, sort of see the ad altogether. Now, let's actually go to the exact, this exact video and see how it did, shall we? Okay, so this is, I changed it to last seven days so we can see how it did in the promotion period. This is the period in which I promoted this video. So it actually ended up getting an okay amount of views. I started promoting it officially on, I believe, the 9th, so 110, 201. Not that, that spectacular per se. And then subscribers, it did say during the promotion that it thinks that that's how many subscribers I got, but not entirely sure maybe i lost them again and then during the promotion days i made let's say a dollar something just during the day so i made more money without the promotion so yeah, just so you know, this YouTube channel has under 10k subscribers, so it doesn't really make a lot of money at the moment. I just wanted to show you guys. And yeah, overall, I guess I'll give you guys my final opinions on it, okay? because it did seem to reach some new people, not a whole lot. It made like, let's say a dollar. It's, um, it's interesting though, because the percentage viewed in the view duration, actually, the went up and down, it's hard to explain. But you guys saw that I ended up spending a little over $30 on this particular promotion. Now, it, was it worth it? I personally, I don't think it was for this particular channel. And I actually have a confession to make. I kind of figured that that would be the case going in for the gaming channel because of the simple fact that basically how gaming channels work is if people are interested in the game, they will typically you know, try it or test it out or whatever. If they're not interested in the game, no matter how much advertising you do, if they aren't interested in the game, they're not interested in the game. I did this experiment mostly for you guys, if you will because I wanted to show you guys, because I know a lot of gaming channels get started every year, especially this year that this is being recorded in, because of the fact that 
I mean gaming channels uh usually the easiest to get into to begin with when you're beginning your YouTube journey and there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to share a certain thing because what's right for one um category may not be right for another category. But yeah, if you did decide to do Google Ads or anything on your channel, be it a gaming channel or not, let me know if you had similar experiences or what you experienced. And hopefully you found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. And I will catch you guys in the... Feature. Later. Mm -hmm.